I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to service up a power unit for power supply. This one is our brand is an Actec brand. So if you have a power supply is making lots of noise, the fan noise, this is for you. I'm going to make this video how to open it up and how to repair the fan noise on the uh, power supply in case you can't. I, uh, I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to turn it on and you guys are going to listen to it. On my mic, there's a noise cancellation on it, so it might not even show up too well. So I'm going to do it with another microphone probably. So once we power it on to power on power unit outside externally, you need to find the green wire, in, green wire and the black wire to the left or right. Doesn't matter. You want to trace that one, comes through here. This is a green one and you want to shorten this one with the one beside it. Any black one to the left or to the right. Once you shorten it up, then you can power on the, this one and it should turn on and it should work. There is the one. So I'm going to put it down and I'm going to put my microphone beside it so you guys can listen to it. So you heard the noise that it was it's making is a annoying noise. So we're going to power it off. Once we power it off from here, we're going to disconnect it. We're going to empty the charge in there to shorten it up as you turning it on, leave it there for a few minutes or just leave it there. Nothing's going to happen. Now we're going to disassemble all the power supply pretty much they, they get disassembled the same way. So first we're going to remove the four tiny screws on here. And we're going to use a screwdriver. I use the iFixit screwdriver set as they are one of the best screwdrivers out there. We're going to be using a Phillips number one. So go ahead and remove the four screws on the each corner, far corner. We do not want to remove the screws for the fan yet. So there's one on the warranty label, on the pass label. So rip this one up to find the screw. Also, if you guys like my video and you want to support the channel, you can click that like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. And it will greatly help and motivate me to make more video tech requests from you guys. So we're going to rip any paper all around it. So we're going to just rip through that paper right there. And this just our to make there's no more paper. Now we're going to lift up this cover, bring it up. And we should get this one out of the way with the fan right there. This fan comes with a jack on it, so pull the jack up. It only goes in one way. So yeah, yours, if the jack is this cable is becoming soldered, don't worry about it. Just leave it to one side. Work work beside it. And all we need is a hair in here too. So you can either replace the whole fan. These are 12 volt, uh, 120 millimeter fan. All right. Or you can just service them. It's much cheaper and if the servicing doesn't work and if the fan noise it still doesn't go away, then yeah, replace them. So we're going to remove the four screws on top. So for what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little dent in here across on this side and across right in here. So I know this side goes with, with here. So I know the fan cable will reach to the contact. Otherwise, it doesn't really matter. So I'll remove four screws for the fan. All right, once you remove the screws, we're going to work on the fan right now. So there's a fan. And we're going to remove it out to lubricate and everything right inside. So on the back of the fan, we're going to remove this tape. Peel off this tape right there. And there's a rubber right in here. We're going to remove the rubber. So there we go. Now once we remove the rubber at the bottom or you might have a different type of cover, we're gonna see the fan right there. Uh, to remove the fan, 
First there's a little seal lock on it. It's a white plastic with a cut in it. So it's just pretty much holding it. So we gotta open it up, remove it. I'm gonna zoom in on this. What you need is a tweezers. We're gonna grab two tweezers and we're gonna work with the tweezers. So pretty much we gotta find out where the cut on this one is. It's right there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna open it up. And we're gonna hold it in there. There we go. And that's how you remove it. Pretty much, it has a little cut in there, right there. So it just hugs it through. So you're gonna remove this. Now the fan should come out pretty easy on this side. Just pull it out and that's it. And there's your fan. So what we're gonna do down here, we're just gonna lubricate and clean it up. We're gonna work, get some workshop towel and some alcohol, isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol. And we're just gonna soak it in here. And we're gonna clean up the pen in the middle here. And we're gonna clean the magnet, everything right in there nicely. Just clean it nicely, make sure you remove all those dirt in there. Everything should be nice and clean. And there's some lubricant grease right at the bottom. That's fine, leave it there. Okay. Now we're gonna grab a, a cotton. And we're gonna soak this cotton right in alcohol. And we're gonna clean up inside here. Nicely clean and remove all the debris, everything that you need. And there's another washer right there. You wanna hold on this one. So there it is. Once you clean it up nicely, clean up the inside too. Now we're gonna grab our lubricant. We're gonna, instead of grease, we're gonna put our lubricant, three on one heat resistance lubricant. Put it on top of one drop on the body of the rod and all around it a little bit, not too much, like one or two drops. And now you're gonna bring the fan, you wanna put it right on top. You have one or two spin. Now it actually feels much, much smoother. Just lubricate it right here. Uh, first put this one, this rubber here on top. Okay. Just push it all the way down. And I usually put something underneath because the fan is has a little bit inside, so it holds it right in on the bottom. I'm gonna use a glass. So I'm gonna put one piece of glass right there. And uh, put this one right on top. Now we're gonna put this one back on top of inside there. You just wanna push it through. There we go. And that's it. Now the fan is not gonna come out. Now we're gonna add one drop right on top here to lubricate that plastic nicely. And we are almost done. We're gonna grab this cover on top so the oil doesn't spill out from this side. And grab the tape. Put it back on top. And just tape it. Or if, if it, this one is not sticking anymore, just put a uh, aluminum tape. So you can use an aluminum tape or a heat resistant tape. That's fine. Or duct tape. Um, any tape will do the job. Even this one, this one has a flimsy cover. I'm just gonna push this cover inward so it doesn't actually come and rub against this one as I see a little bit of rubbing right here. So we wanna prevent that too. So we can just gonna push it outward. 
just put your thumb in there and push it all right so i marked it right there and the mark is right over here so let's put the fan in place and put the screws you can either use a push it and put a little bit of washers here to just shift it away from it here and those washers should be something like this so you can grab any washer with about one millimeter washer and you can put these ones here to move it away from the cover on the bottom so it doesn't actually touches it gets a little more distance that's fine so and the way we do it i just put the screw through and put it right on top of the screw it makes life easier and i'll just do one turn i don't want to uh, tighten it up i just want it so the washer doesn't fall off and that's it do the second one i'm gonna do cross screw them the other one on this side and i need one more right over here so I'll grab this one here There we go. So let's put these ones in place. There we go. Now we're gonna test it out. So let's go ahead and plug it in. All right, and bring it over. So let's connect the power cable connector right here, green and the black one. And we're gonna connect the cable, power cable. If we haven't put the four screws, you don't need to. You're gonna turn it on. I can't even hear anything. I just hear the hiss of the air that is coming through. It's nice and quiet. I'm gonna get my mic close. Just that the air is blowing. So yeah. And this is how you service your power unit. If you have a noisy fan, this didn't cost me anything and you can do this maintenance or service every once in a while and the last thing down here would be to put the bottom top cover here align the screw holes and even this side i put it cover has to go on top but on the bottom make sure it aligns it nicely and put the four screws on the top side as always i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own service for your power supply if it did you know what to do click the like button and think about subscribing to support the channel if you have any question or requests feel free to leave them in a video comment i always try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and i hope to see you guys in my next video